So take a look at this video right here. A campaign volunteer for a Republican, Carl DeMaio, leaving a door hanger on one of our photographer's doors in the 50th district. These days between Congress, President, Supervisor, City Council, ballot measures, it feels like an army of folks like him are out there leaving materials. And combined with the mailers, it feels like we're getting an avalanche of paper with pictures and policies and promises. But please, if you're gonna look at them at all before you toss them, read them and read the fine print because many are misleading. Take this cop's voter guide right here, pretty convincing with this generic cop on the back. Well, if you read the fine print, it doesn't represent any public safety personnel. In fact, the majority of candidates pay money to be on this mailer, or this one is actually one of my favorites so far that we've gotten. Two candidates running for the same city council district seat, both pictured with assembly member Todd Gloria. Well, which one did Gloria endorse? He hasn't endorsed either. So this is my pitch to read the mailers or recycle them because politically speaking, you just shouldn't judge mailers or door hangers by their covers. Thank you so much for joining us on Politically Speaking today. We'll be right back here next week with a special pre-primary edition. We'll talk to voters, we'll talk about ballots, and much, much more. And here's a nugget to leave you with. Over 133,000 San Diegans have already voted in this election. Thank you guys for making your voices heard. We'll see you next week. Looking forward to it.